Let's open up and tour an all new 2023 Nexus Wraith 32W Super C Motorhome. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris coming at you from the beautiful Great Escapes RV Super Center and it is my pleasure to be doing this tour with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside of this unit, show you some of the cool features, then we're gonna do the same thing on the roof. Then we're gonna go inside of it with it all closed up and show you how practical it would be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, cook a meal, use the restroom, or even driving down the road in this beautiful Super C. How easily accessible is it? Then we're gonna take, open it all up and give you a final overlook at this beautiful Super C motorhome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. So, okay, I can't get over this. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal. A full body paint job on here, high gloss exterior gel coat. It's got an international uh, chassis, 300 horsepower diesel motor, 660 foot pounds of torque with an Allison six speed transmission, a 24,500 gross vehicle weight rating with an overall at 33. It's got a 10,000 pound hitch on the back. This thing is just loaded out with some goodies. Starting out with the front, you have a fully molded fiberglass front cap on here. This is a four color full body paint job. It is Nior. Fiberglass sidewalls. It's got a steel cage construction on here. A full span Solera awning with the built in LED light strip. Of course, uh, frameless glass windows. You've got tons of compa baggage compartment doors in here with slam latch features. In here you got dual batteries in here, also the ability if you wanted to add additional batteries. Those beautiful slam latch baggage doors. Nice setup on this. It's the 32W. Opening this up on here, you're going to see you've got a section here for your propane tank which we fill upon your purchase. You got more storage in here as well. Got a nice little rubber mat in here. LED lighting on the inside. You're gonna have a six gallon Dometic water heater, a 35,000 BTU furnace. You got a 110 power port out here as well. Beautiful setup on these massive rims with these continental uh, tires on here. 255, 70R, 22.5s. This thing is just phenomenal and there's four of them all together on the rear, six total. LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You still have exterior entertainment here with a nice flat screen TV on a strut assisted baggage door. Open this up, additional storage, really cool. You got a low profile table, you guys can be able to do additional storage in here to be able to put that in there, that comes in really sweet. Close this up. Back here, this actually has a, a molded rear cap on the top portion of it a fully molded fiberglass roof, which is really sweet, an access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. Of course, the LED lights on the rear as well. You've got a backup camera already installed, a nice 10,000 pound hitch with the receiver and a seven way plug, really cool. Tubular style bumpers, so you guys can still be able to put your sewer hose in here as well. While we're back here, let's go ahead and jump on this roof and show you guys what it looks like. Climb up here with one hand like a ninja. So you're gonna have set up on here, two 13.5 AC units, <clears throat> a 100 watt solar panel. You got a skylight right there, as well as a wine guard, omnidirectional air 360 antenna. So it makes it that much easier to be able to find your channels as well as have LTE capabilities and make this a personal rolling hotspot. Coming down here. Like that, I didn't fall. <laughs> really nice. Uh, back window to be able to view out over a lake or something. It's a nice viewing. Open this up. It's gonna be where you're gonna store your cable. It's got a power inverter as well. It's gonna be 50 amp shore power. Open this up. This is gonna be your dumping center. Everything's all properly labeled and easily located as far as winterization, sanitizing, dry camping. You got a hot and cold setting as well for an outside shower spray port, sewer outlet connection, city water connection, your waste holding, your gray tank, dumping, all conveniently located up into here and out of the way. Close this up, slam latch baggage doors. It's gonna have um, slide toppers as well, two slides on the driver's side. Beautiful setup with the slide toppers. It just helps out that much more as far as rain mitigation and debris runoff. 
coming around here you're gonna see open this up plenty of storage guys tons and tons of large compartment storage and really cool you got an 8000 cummins owning generator it comes in extremely handy if you guys are doing some off-grid camping you guys need a little bit of power open this up another storage compartment and then this compartment right here has a large def container to be able to have that for your diesel vehicle very cool coming around here a little bit further you see nice steps to be able to gain access into the entry cab um, heated mirrors you got side cameras for whenever you're merging into traffic look at the front of this puppy holy moly it's so beautiful it just came out of the detail it's got a 65 foot rv watch touch and touchless combo what a cool setup guys let's go ahead and go inside this rv and check it out and go into a little bit more of the features you also have 70 gallon fuel tanks open this up once again, this is the 32W Wraith by Nexus RV. Coming into here, oh, it's nice and cool in here. It's a nice hot day, and I only have one of the ACs running. So getting into this a little bit further, you're going to see this has got the Go Power. This is the charge controller center for being able to um, control the power to your RV with the 100-watt um, solar panel. You have an EQ Smart Level Equalizer Auto Leveling System, front, rear, left, and right side. That is absolutely phenomenal. A whole house disconnect, lights to power your living room, lights to power the porch, awning extension and retraction for your Solera awning outside, the lights on the awning, the lights on your step lights, and to power to turn on and off the step if you guys want to be able to have that come in or come out. Then you're going to move up here. You're going to see you have another button right here. This is for your underglow lighting, for the uh, accent lighting into the inside of your RV. Let me shut this door real quick. It's... This is going to be the opposite end of your convenience center right here. As you can see, it's all properly labeled and stuff as far as being able to check your propane, your battery, your fresh black and gray water levels. This is for your generator to start and stop it. You've got a pump right here to be able to pressurize your system for potable water. You've got gas and electric setting on your water heater. You can hit both of those at the same time and that comes in extremely handy for recovery time if you're taking multiple showers. Of course, slide in and out for your rear bedroom and for your main slide. Living room lights, turn those on and off. And then uh, under lighting for your kitchen area. Phenomenal. So getting into this a little bit further, this is the first look. This unit's actually closed up currently, as you can see. So as far as moving around goes, you still have a good amount of room to move around while this unit is on the road. It comes in really handy. I like this quite a bit. As you can see, hardwood cabinetry on here. That's actually a slate panel hardwood cabinet cabinetry with uh, Atkinson flooring. Really beautiful. And then of course, further back, you'll see the bedroom back there as well as where the bathroom's at. This is just absolutely phenomenal. Really cool. Looking at all this a little bit further, you're gonna see you have a nice amount of storage up here. Also the ability to sleep additional friends and family. If you guys didn't want this and you wanted to gain easier access to the front cab, you can lift that up and out of the way. Look at the command center on this puppy. Absolutely incredible. That e-brake is just massive. You got a nice little roadside kit up there in the front. Of course, carbon monoxide, smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, emergency exits. It even has um, hazard cones right there. You guys can be able to set those up if you ever did need it, heaven forbid. Of course, overhead storage as well for all the other odds and ends and knickknacks. 40 inch Sansui flat screen TV. Another little low profile chair. Getting into this a little bit further, let's go ahead and open up these slides. So slide in, slide out, this is cable driven. Go ahead and press that button. And as you can see, the rear portion of the bedroom slide is sliding out. Now at its fullest extent, you're gonna hear the motor kind of wind down a little bit that lets you know that it's open completely. You don't wanna hold that any further, you could strain the motor. This one, same thing, cable driven. It's gonna slide itself out. Once it's done, the motor's just gonna go ahead and turn itself off on this. And it's gonna give you so much more room to be able to move around in here. Of course, nice uh, sofa system on here. You've got built-in um, seat belts to be able to have additional friends and family to be able to go on those long road trips for you and simply lift this up. It'll fold out into a bed. You guys can sleep more friends and family. 
You have MCD blackout roller shades on here as well. Uh, nice updated valance. You also have a nice privacy curtain if you guys want to be able to close this uh, front section off. Hidden hinges, brushed nickel on here. Beautiful, frameless glass windows. It comes in really handy too if you guys have this open and it's raining outside. Definitely comes in handy for as far as rain mitigation and not blowing into your inside of your RV. Okay, so you got the booth dinette on here. This will actually fold down into an additional uh, bed to be able to sleep with your friends and family. Uh, solid surface uh, countertops. You've got a chef style faucet. Of course, one piece sink insert with the guards on there as well. Comes in really handy. Nice little charging station, USB and 110 power. We'll turn on this light. So we have a little bit better light. This is a Dometic three burner stove top with the tempered glass insert. Comes in really handy, but better be, be careful. Do not cook with this tempered glass insert. It will uh, shatter and it's uh, not very much fun to clean up. It also serves as additional countertop prep space if you're not using that. Really cool. Of course, solid steel ball bearing drawer glides. Of course, the hardwood cabinetry just looks absolutely great in here. Nice and solid closing. You got a graystone convection style microwave, a 10 cubic foot refrigerator with a built-in inverter in there as well. This thing's only been plugged in for about 10, 15 minutes and man, it's nice and cold in there. I definitely feel comfortable with putting any perishable items in there. Nice little pantry with adjustable and removable shelves. I like that quite a bit. And there's a nice little LED light in there. Getting into this a little bit further, coming back, you're gonna see it's got, of course, the two ACs. One AC is going to be in the rear bedroom, and then the other one's going to be right up here. But I only had one of them on because it actually feels really cold in here, and I've only had it on for a couple minutes. Of course, you got a uh, quarter carousel style walk-in shower with a nice little guard on there. Open this up. Updated sprayer faucet. Raise it and lower it. Nice high ceilings on there for you taller people. You still have that ability to be able to shower up in here. Close this. You always want to make sure when you guys are driving down the road you have this closed so it doesn't swing open on you. Open this up. Beautiful setup with the walk-in bathroom. You can see you've got a nice porcelain toilet with the pneumatic. Very cool. Your sink. Additional storage for all your toiletry items and everything. Got a nice ventilation fan to keep it ventilated in here. Close this door. I do like right here that you guys can actually take and close off this portion of the room for additional privacy if you got friends and family. So that does come in handy. Of course, a queen size mattress in here. It's a deluxe spring. You also have a little LED reading lights in there as well. You've got more overhead cabinetry storage on that slide out portion. You've got the button right here to be able to control your interior lights as well as your additional um, thermostat for your other AC. An emergency exit right here. Tons and tons of drawers for additional storage in here for all your clothes. The wife would love this, or maybe the husband, or depending on how much clothes and stuff you guys have. Very cool. A bunch of accessory bags with all their manuals and the knickknacks and goodies to be able to have on your RV. This is your outside spray hose. Another flat screen TV. Open this up. You've got the rod going across to be able to hang your clothes. Give you another overlook of this. Just phenomenal really 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 cool okay so this is opened up let's come through here guys this is just a brief introduction of course uh, part of great escapes uh, goal and mission is we do an educational training class with all new and used purchases on the, the on their lot uh, we also include at our gasville location a free night stay on their private campground um, and no documentation or prep fees of course less your tax title and licensing Ladies and gents, this is such a beautiful RV. Let's go ahead and open up the awning and then we'll get a final overlook at this and close out on this wonderful tour. I really appreciate y'all sticking with me. Let's go ahead and open this awning and see what it looks like. So extend, it's a full span awning, built in LED light strip. Once this gets at its fullest extent, you're gonna see a flap that falls down that lets you know that it's at its fullest extent. If you continue to hold the button, it'll actually roll up on itself backwards and it's not a good thing. You can damage the uh, awning and usually with warranty that's not covered it's considered user error so you see that flap that comes down right there is where you want to go ahead and keep it 
It also has a pitch adjustment on the side, so depending on if you, the rain is falling, you guys want to pitch the awning to one side or the other, you can simply pull this down, but don't push it back up because you could potentially damage it. All right, let's close this. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for your time today, your patience, and the opportunity to do business together. What a beautiful Super C motorhome. If you guys have a unit that you'd like a tour on, just give us a shout on the comment section below. Let us know. We'd like to add it to our list. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.